As you roll out your RPA program, you must also consider the impacts of change in the success of this initiative. One of the key elements to consider is the organizational change aspect. The second element to think about is the IT change management and its governance. Organizational change relates to the changes in how work gets done in your, within your organization once RPA has been rolled out. As with any other IT or business process change initiative, when you are rolling out bots within your organization, the way in which tasks get done in a particular process will change. The HR, business and IT teams need to sit together to understand how these changes need to be supported from a training perspective, from a process perspective and from a policies perspective. Ensuring that you are training your staff and employees when it comes to the changes that are being brought in by process change and changes due to the bots will ensure that you are able to achieve and deliver on the business results that you have been targeting uh, with your program rollout. It is very important that you bring your employees on board, address their questions and concerns, and this needs to be managed very systematically right from the design phase of your RPA program so that it can succeed. One of the key tasks to ensure that you are able to provide enough information to facilitate change management is to ensure that you document your processes before and after the automation has been done. This will ensure people to have an understanding of how processes have changed and they can follow the new processes. Finally, your RPA rollout team should ensure that there is senior management buy-in for your RPA program. As you are aware, without senior management buy-in from the businesses, it is very difficult for any change management initiative to succeed. So it is also for your RPA program. Therefore, the RPA Center of Excellence or the RPA program lead should ensure that they are able to facilitate these kinds of interactions, as we have mentioned, between the business, between the HR team, between IT and the training teams, and also ensure that they are giving the right kind of feedback on progress to their senior management team for action where necessary. The second aspect of change management to consider is IT change from a governance and compliance standpoint. I'm sure like with any other organization, you also have your own enterprise IT compliance and governance practices. When you are rolling out RPA within your organization, the same IT governance and compliance standards need to be applied to the RPA program also. Any other IT change request within your organization, even for RPA change requests, you have to ensure that the change has been properly logged, that there's a request for change. Somebody has to log this, it has to be captured in the change register, and then you have to ensure that the right individuals are involved to be able to analyze what the impacts of this change are and what steps, if any, need to be taken. Following this kind of discipline ensures that any changes that happen to your bots will not impact or disrupt your business in any way. And this will ensure the overall success of your RPA program. As you will appreciate from an IT perspective, it is very important not just to get the bots into production, but to be able to ensure that the bots are maintained properly and they do not impact your IT infrastructure or your IT infrastructure does not impact your bots and their operation. You have to ensure that the right kind of change management discipline is applied to ensure continuity and compliance. If you are undertaking RPA from the perspective of actually bringing about big change to how you operate internally or in terms of your business results, you have to think about change and how it will impact your RPA program and your business going forward. From an RPA perspective, we mentioned two key areas of change you should think in your planning so that your RPA program can be a success. It is very important that you think about these elements right from the beginning and ensure that the team that you have constituted to look after the RPA program success is paying attention to change within your organization and also change from an IT perspective.